I understand. So, if, yeah. So that's why, and then the expansion should be very, very carefully because the reason that Gahara came up with this idea of expansion of the mandible and it failed, their technology, the way that it was born, born, it was distracting the condyles, meaning that these two condyles, they would be pushed out. Patient develop a lot of TMJ problem, clicking and popping. The way that we have this created this proprietary, you know, uh, expansion system. So we are going to avoid the uh, what we call distraction or side lateral shift of the condyle out. So we make it the way that the rotation is going to be on vertical around the vertical vector of the rotation of both condyles. So there is no intercondylar expan or, you know, expansion of this, of what we call the distance between the condyles. At the same time that you see that how much in front, you are about 10 millimeter in front, you get expansion and almost zero distraction on the condyles laterally. So well, how is that even possible, doctor? How is it possible is the trick is here, which is the patented idea, which is you see that run this, uh, you know, uh, first by cuspids. First by cuspids, they have round t uh, roots. And this, uh, we published the article in 2010 in JCO uh, uh, magazine, uh, the journal, orthodontic journal, and explain about this. So in order to avoid what we call the condyles get uh, sideways, you know, expanded like the other appliances, you need to have a counter rotation inside the system. So it means that look at these arrows run, how they, you know, this is the way that the body of mandible is going to be stretched 10 millimeter in front. If you don't have something that is going to counteract with this appliance that is going on the first by cuspids, then there is a possibility that the force is going to distract the converse away. So now, why I picked specifically first by cuspid? First by cuspids, they have round roots. As a result of that, when we expand the body of mandible in front, those by cuspids, the roots, like a hinge of the door, they're rotating around you know, the, uh, uh, the roots inside that is supporting the appliance is going to have rotate, which is counterclockwise to the rotation of the condyles and the way that the mandible is going to be expanded. So that means that in front, if we expand 10 millimeter, you are not going to have so much of lateral, uh, what we call shift of the condyles. We have done, I mentioned to you, 150 of these cases are in pipeline. 85 are successfully done. Just one case that uh, had minimal clicking on uh, one side, and then was very sensitive. She had it before it continued to be clicking and then later disappeared and improved. So that's the reason, and that's the reason that we developed this technique like this. Doctor, this black rectangle with the green arrows, is that the actual location of the expander? That's right. I'm going to show you in the case. Yes, okay. so, that's right. I don't fully understand. So are you accounting for, are you preventing complications in the TMJ as a result of the mandibular distractor by altering the occlusion or is there actually some magic happening in the mandibular bone that somehow gets expansion up front but is, is, is doing something in the condyle to make sure there's no rotation happening there. I, I still don't understand. Can you try explaining one more time? That there is no voodoo or magical, uh, you know, uh, secret here. So the thing is, this is very important, Ram, that you mentioned. Look at these blue arrows. Yes. The way that I showed the rotation. All right. So when we expand, all right, if we don't have this, uh, you know, appliance that is on the first by cuspid, if the cuspid root is not round, for example, we tried it with the molar, right? Molars, they have two roots, as, as you know. So as a result of that, that creates anchorage. 
and that is going to rotate the canvas and shift them out. So that's why then we put it on K lines, but K lines they have also cross section is like a figure eight. So it still can create some anchorage because the rotation is not as good as first by cross speed and it can distract the canvas laterally. So that's why specifically put the appliance on first by cross speeds, which they have round roots, roots, and then get this type of reaction rotational compensation is going to compensate for the rotation that happens and uh, zero it out compared to the rotation happen to the condos and also rotation that happens in the body of the mandible because this rotation here is going to be somewhere mid between the rotation on the around the vertical axis of the condo and rotation in front on the body of the mandible. Okay. Okay, I guess probably a, a, a video or something showing the actual motion of things would probably yes. help, but I'll assume maybe the audience understands better than I do, and I'll leave it at that, okay? Sure. It's a, it's a very complex biological system, I hope, you know, and again, it's not a new voodoo science, but that's why we have been successful with this, but that is the issue of the bone-bone expanders. They don't have this capability. 